Hi, I'm Dawn with the Office for Mac team. Audio and video can be an essential part of any great presentation. In this video series, we'll look at how to work with both in PowerPoint for Mac 2011. Before you can do anything with audio or video in PowerPoint, you have to insert or add it to your presentation. To do that, on the Home tab, click the Media button. Notice that you can insert either from the Media Browser, which gives you quick access to all of your iTunes music and movies, from File, which just means that you can choose the file from a folder on your computer, or record audio directly on each slide, which is great for annotating your presentation. First, let's insert a video from the Media Browser. All you do is drag it into the presentation. Now, let's insert an audio clip. Here's one that is saved on my hard drive. Notice that when you insert media from file, you have the option to link to the file. It's important to understand that if you link to the file, the media is not actually saved with or embedded in your presentation, which means that if you decide to share your presentation, you'll also need to share the individual media files. By default, PowerPoint 2011 embeds all media in a presentation. Although embedding increases the file size of a presentation, it also ensures that your media remains a part of the presentation if you move the presentation or share it with others. Unless you are concerned about the file size of the presentation, use the default option to embed audio and video. PowerPoint 2011 supports most of the popular media file types. One video type that PowerPoint 2011 does not support is YouTube video. For the entire list of supported media, take a look at Audio and Movie File Types in PowerPoint Help. A link is in the related links section of this tutorial.